Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. Now, Microsoft is going to change Windows to comply with the EU laws. They're going to make some big changes to Windows. Wait a minute. In this video, I'm going to break down the story that talks about those changes and when they're going to be implemented. So, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're going dark. So earlier this year, the European Commission designated Microsoft as one of six giant tech companies that qualify as gatekeepers under the terms of the Digital Markets Act. Under the DMA, which was enacted in 2022, the owners of core platform services that connect businesses to final consumers have specific responsibilities to prevent them from using their entrenched and durable position to impose unfair conditions on customers. Companies identified as gatekeepers are required to proactively implement certain behaviors that make the markets more open and contestable. According to the commission, Microsoft's Windows made the list of operating systems that qualify as gatekeepers alongside Google's Android and Apple's iOS. Today, in response to the commission's designation, the company outlined changes it plans to make in Windows and its associated apps to comply with the DMA. Many of those changes apply only to PCs running Windows versions identified during setup as being in the European Economic Area, the EEA. Microsoft says the region used for DMA compliance can only be changed by reinstalling Windows and resetting the PC to a different region. Here are the changes that's going to be included. Point number one, Windows will now clearly identify functionality that's built into the operating system. The settings, the systems, the system component labels, OS components, and start menus, all apps list has been renamed to all with operating system components labeled with system. Search results will also display that label for operating system components. The next change is some apps that are bundled with Windows now have the option to be uninstalled. That list includes the camera, photos, and Cortina apps in the EEA only. Windows users will have the option to uninstall Microsoft Edge and the web search from the Microsoft Bing component. Next change, we have the Windows editions for the EEA. Developers will be able to specify alternative providers for web search using the Windows search box as well as feeds in the Windows widget boards and Windows will ask users if they want to allow Windows to use their Microsoft account to sync data with other Windows devices and Microsoft products that use the same account. The next change, in changes to default app settings, Microsoft notes that apps can prompt customers to change app defaults by opening Windows settings to the app's defaults page. In the EEA, the company says Windows will always use the customer's configured app default settings for link and file types, including industry standard browser link types, HTTP and HTTPS. Apps choose how to open content on Windows and some Microsoft apps will choose to open web content in Microsoft Edge. The last change reportedly is finally the Copilot in Windows feature that's now in preview in Windows 11 version 23H2 will not be available in the EEA which is currently restricted to North America, the United Kingdom and parts of Asia and South America. Microsoft says the changes it's introducing are rolling out in Windows 11 in the release preview channel with a preview of updates for Windows 10 coming later. The company says it will complete these updates in the EEA to be compliant by March 6, 2024. So uh, what do you think about this breaking development? These these incredible changes that Windows is making, right? Microsoft is making for Windows to comply with the EU laws. Do you think that the EU uh, the EU laws are a little bit too uh, aggressive? Do you think that Do you think that it's unfair that Microsoft has to do this? Please let me know. I want to know your comment, um, your opinion in, in the comment section below. Please share the content. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate your viewership, and see you on the next video.